So the Bible says at 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, This know also that in the last days, so these are the last days of the church, perilous times shall come. So we know that perilous times will come in this church age. And we're not talking about the crit we're not talking about the tribulation. We're talking about the Christian church age, the last days of it. So there will be perilous times. It's not all just tribulation. It will happen within the days of the church. Now, these are the perilous times that will come. It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. So humanism is definitely on the rise. That is a no-brainer. And we see that all over. Uh, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. So this is... Uh, very common we see with the BLM riots, with the government putting more uh, restricted measures and restricting Christians of their freedom to worship, where the Constitution is hardly uh, taken into account. And also another thing over here, as we read verse 3, it says, without what? Natural affection. So then their lifestyle, their affections for each other is going to be unnatural. It will be perverted. And the shock that we see throughout our day and age. Here's one example. This is from Newsweek, dated September 11th. Title of the article is Ronald McDonald and Burger King mascot share kiss in Love Conquers All ad. So they've started to do that, I believe, in the region of Finland. And all these children are exposed to that as they go uh, inside to order their meals and they'll see this ad. I mean, what kind of a brainwashing system are you giving to your children? They're going to think that's natural affection, not unnatural. But this one is the one that got me angry the most. Netflix, as you may have heard, there's a thing going on about cancel Netflix. And they had this disgusting show called Cuties. That's number one uh, red light over there. You call it Cuties. And then... Uh, it is so perverted where basically there are minor children, underage children, who are influenced by the music industry, which is no surprise, oh which God. is why you, you dumb millennials, I'm sorry to say, dumb millennials got to realize that is sexual, that is sensual, that kind of dressing, that kind of music. For people to completely blind themselves to that, then this is the result you get with That's cuties. Fair. Because the liberals are justifying their argument that it is okay what they're doing because it's normal to us millennials to dress that way, to listen to that kind of music. So these underage girls, if they dress that way, that provocative manner, with that kind of contemporary music industry, then it's okay. But it's not okay because if you look at IMDB, they have a category called sex and nudity, and there are 13, coincidentally, 13... Uh, indications over here. 13 is a bad number. It means rebellion in your Bible, coincidentally. And some of the stuff I cannot say over here. But some of the stuff over here will include uh, watching pornography on a cell phone. It would also include 11-year-olds uh, dancing lewdly and with their legs spread open. Another one where uh, they are depanced and then other, uh, the young people are taking pictures of this underage girl being depanced and all that. It, it is... I cannot... I cannot understand it. I can't read that. If I read you all the things you throw up. So this is what made me even more angry is that they even put over their TVMA. How can you be so blind and so stupid that you can involve underage children with this one? But no, our world is incredibly stupid. It is wicked. I mean, this was so this was an outrage that according to Fox News. Title of their article, by, written by Marisa Schultz, Ted Cruz calls for DOJ investigation into cuties, filmmakers, and Netflix. Yeah, no kidding, we should have an investigation. What kind of a perverted mindset of the directors or producers or whoever's in charge, what, what are they planning over here? Some conspiracy theorists, they get into the idea that, well, that, it's not a surprise, there's always been pedophilia and all kinds of sex rings going on with the elites and the Hollywood industry. But uh, here's another one. This, uh, this is uh, by MSN.com, and the title of their article over here is 
FBI raids Naperville home of cheer star Jerry Harris. This guy was the one who would stand next to Biden, Joe Biden, when he was trying to run for president, when he's running for president. But that's no surprise over there. A, a cheer star involved with the industry over there where they would, why would they raid his home? Because they mentioned over here that uh, FBI did not offer details, but a representative confirmed that agents were present at Naperville home late Monday and neighbors confirmed that Harris lives there. He is reportedly suspected of trying to solicit sex with minors as CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov reports. Common. That's an uh, indication of last days. And then what, what does the uh, media talk about that? Uh, this is by NBC News, title of their article, Criticism of Netflix Cuties isn't about the movie, it's a cynical ploy in the culture war. And basically, they say over here that it's the dumbest debate ever in history. Are you kidding me? Are you stinking kidding me? Whoever the reporter was, was the dumbest reporter ever in history for saying that. <laughs> This is even, uh, they called it the single dumbest battle of the culture war. Shut up, man. Yeah. Forbes also agrees with that. Title of their article, the controversy over Netflix cuties is totally ridiculous. Well, you're ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. This is wickedness. Uh, I mean, uh, without natural affection. Now we get to a point where over here by Fox News, written by Adam Shaw, title of the article, Transsexual Satanist Anarchist wins GOP nomination for sheriff in New Hampshire County, <laughs> out of all places. You know what he was running a slogan on? What those BLM riots were all doing. F the police. So no surprise, BLM rioters all connected with that one. So. Look at this one at verse 3. What follows natural affections, right? Like those transsexual people and those uh, homosexual sodomites and pedophiles, etc., etc. Verse 3 follows a logical flow. Without natural affections, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent fears, despisers of those, of those that are good. Those are the typical BLM rioters, those who uh, promote about cultural equality, racial equality, religious equality, we all, we're all about love. No, you're not. Breitbart, as a matter of fact, has a video proof over here. And the title of their article, which the video shows at 15th of September 2020, they published it. Watch Black Lives Matter protesters wish death on wounded L.A. sheriff's deputies. I hope they effing die. Some of you have heard about that shot that uh, those uh, where they were shot, the sheriff's deputies and the stupid protesters talking about love. And then they're saying, I hope they effing die. That's wicked. But I'll show you even something more wicked. This is by The Atlantic. They admitted this. The Atlantic admitted in September 13, 2020, their article title, the Democrats may not be able to concede. What happens if uh, Trump wins the presidency? The author, the writer admitted this, <coughs> quote, a loss by Joe Biden under these circumstances is the worst case, not because Trump will destroy America, he can't, but because it is the outcome most likely to undermine faith in democracy resulting, listen up, resulting in more of the social unrest and street battles that cities including Portland, Oregon, and Seattle have seen in recent months. You know what he just admitted right there? This idiot, this idiot admitted that all these riots and violence that's going out on the street is because it relates to that, the presidency, if Trump wins again. See, it's all politicized. This is not about, oh, you know, this is all about love. No, this is all stupid. Stupidity over there. <laughs> Now, thankfully, there are a few people who are standing up, obviously, because this is just, you got to admit, ever since 2020, this is too much where the New World Order agenda, we're rushing things. This is fast. This is fast. Something happened the year behind it during Trump's presidency where it looked like that the elites are saying, you need to know your place. 
Maybe you ought to think about that one. But this is by CBS News, September 11, 2020. Title of the article is Fans Boo Chiefs. Texans players during moment of silence at NFL opener. So thankfully there are some people who are standing up because you know the sports industry, the idiots yeah. that were promoting their politicized agenda about BLM and all that. And then, you know, taking a knee at the anthem and then uh, they changed the national anthem song, etc. There's a bunch of people who actually booed these guys. Rightfully so, man. Rightfully so. It's about time. Here's another one. This is a this is a miracle. September 15, 2020, by CBS 3 Philly News. Title of the article: Federal Judge Rules Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf's COVID-19 Shutdown Orders Unconstitutional. The federal judge uh, shut it down, man. Called it unconstitutional. This governor of Pennsylvania, actually. So there are people standing up, actually. Here's another one. This one was a while ago, obviously, for some of you who seen the Tucker Carlson show. In his show, title of the article, Exclusive Chinese Virologist Accuses Beijing of Coronavirus Cover-Up Flees Hong Kong. She says, I know how they treat whistleblowers. See, this is getting out now. There are people standing up trying to expose some of, some of the globalist agenda, so to speak. Here's what the article reads. Doctors and researchers who had been openly discussing the virus suddenly clammed up. Those, this is what she was admitting over here. She's telling this to you guys. Those from the city of Wuhan, which later would become the hub of the outbreak, went silent and others were warned not to ask them details. The doctor said, we can't talk about it, but we need to wear a mask. Oh, interesting. So her name was Yan. Then the numbers of human-to-human -human transmission began to grow exponentially, according to her sources. And Yan started digging for answers. There are many, many patients who don't get treatment on time and diagnosis on time, Yan said. Hospital doctors are scared, but they cannot talk. CDC staff are scared. Everything's interconnected here. Let me keep reading. She said she reported her findings to her supervisor again on January 16th, but that's when he allegedly told her to keep silent and be careful. Let's keep reading over here. She also claims the co-director of a WHO affiliated lab. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Professor Malik Perry's knew, but didn't do anything about it. Paris also did not respond to requests for comment. The WHO website lists Paris as an advisor on the WHO International Health Regulations Emergency Committee for pneumonia due to the novel coronavirus 2019. Jan was frustrated but not surprised. She says this, I already know that would happen because I know the corruption among this kind of international organization like the WHO to China government and to China Communist Party, she said. So, so basically, I accept it. But she didn't want the kind of information to spread around the world because then she would get into trouble. See, they're all connected, man, to a globalist agenda. W, uh, she admitted about CDC, WHO, as well as the China, Chinese Communist Government Party over there, Chinese virologists. But you should read that article that I mentioned to you. This is mainstream news I'm giving to you. I'm not quoting from any conspiracy theory website. I'm giving you from mainstream news organizations over here for critics who are saying, you're just reading from a conspiracy th site. No, I'm using your level of sources. Amen. If you go to, uh, this is so interesting, what Twitter and Facebook did in a mainstream news, Tucker Carlson tonight, you know what they did in both of them with that show? They said false information. They banned it. They got rid of it. Look at that. They probably changed it, but that's what they did. Wow, isn't it amazing? So what will the wicked do? They will shut them up. That's what the verse says over here. Verse 3, false accusers, despisers of those that are good. That's what happened in the last days. The good people are standing up. They're going to shut them down. That's what Twitter, Facebook did, and here's more. Here's more. 
this is by the, the London Evening Standard News uh, by April Roach. Title of the article is Eight People in Indonesia Caught Not Wearing Face Masks Ordered to Dig Graves of Coronavirus Victims. Look at these people. Look at these people. They're they're hankering down on you. They're 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 shutting you down. This is by this is by Religion News Service. You remember jo uh, John MacArthur? He went back and forth, back and forth. I told you that I gave a little bit of a warning, right? I was like, I wonder how long it will last, because you can switch judges if it keeps on going. And California has plenty of liberal judges, for, so those, for those of you who don't know. So guess what happened? September 16, 2020, in Religion News Service, title of the article is, Judge Grants Injunction Barring John MacArthur Grace Community Church from Meeting Indoors. It was only a matter of time. I told you about that. Like, I wonder. I hope that he won, but I was skeptical. I was like... You know, because I, uh, I took law school classes and I know the government system here is like, you know, it's only a matter of time. Now look at what the wicked are doing, shutting down those that are good. He, let me continue on over here. This is by Fox News. Uh, Morgan Phillips is the author. DOJ, title of the article, DOJ records show members of Mueller's team wiped phones during Trump probe. You know what they're doing? They're all... They're all erasing their crimes where, they're, where they could get caught in. This is what these people are doing. And if that's not proof, it's a strong indication to me. I mean, look at this, what they're doing. This is very biased how I see controlling information. I see this more and more as controlling information over here to what they want. The New World Order agenda or the liberal agenda one. One of them got so mad that this is by Variety News magazine. Title of the article, Alan Dershowitz sues CNN for $300 million over impeachment defense. And Dershowitz, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, he's a professor from Harvard, if that's the university I recall. So he, you see this, man, they don't care who you are. This one was really good. Mark Dice did an interview a uh, couple months ago. Title of his video is Facebook Insider Comes Forward. And actually, the guy who was a moderator on Facebook, which is what I recommend for you to watch, the guy who was a moderator for Facebook mentioned that there, there's a category where because of hate speech, it is so fluctuating. It can be deemed to what the committee or the people want to deem it as hate speech. And they deliberately pick and choose things over here. And they have a thing called what is uh, marked as cruelty over here. So then what's interesting, they mentioned over here that even the conspiracy theorist guys, like the famous one, Alex Jones, you'll find his name next to Adolf Hitler and uh, <laughs> Goebbels, etc. That's how they systemize. That's how they pick their wordings over there. See, this is a messed up system over here. This is a messed up system over here. But he has a thing called Project Veritas. And if you would get involved in that one, then if you want to send out information of where they're oppressing you and you think that Facebook, Twitter, and these other guys are controlling information and you don't feel safe putting uh, the information you have in their networks, then get involved with Project Veritas. And he wants, he's trying to do what he can to make up uh, with the basically the crimes of what Facebook is doing. So here's another one over here. Uh, this. So then, what do you think all of America is becoming? This is scary. This is by San Francisco Chronicle. The title of the article is, This is a Climate D blank emergency, California's Gavin Newsom says. And... You know, uh, because of the California wildfires, I wonder who's angry. That's all I'll say. I wonder whose judgment. Uh, that's all I'll say. <laughs> but what he he gave a scary he gave a scary statement over here. What is America becoming? California, folks, is America. Fast forward, Newsom said. Wow. Where California is becoming more and more restrictive and taking away your rights and all that, pretty soon all of America would become that way. 
Now, in fairness to the context of Newsom is that he's referring that one to the climate change and that America should get involved. Yeah. He's saying that California fires could affect America too. But man, how I see it is a deeper meaning yeah. behind what he said over there. Yeah. Now, uh, but let me give you another scary one. It's not just uh, America becoming California. I wonder if America will be founded on witchcraft. Didn't you know that the BLM leaders, the one who founded it, that they did witchcraft? Mm -hmm. wow. That the whole movement is founded on witchcraft. Now, this is by Dr. Michael Brown, actually. Dr. Michael Brown, famous uh, Christian apologist, actually. He did lots of debates, and he got his PhD from a university. So the title of his article, dated Wednesday, September 16, 2020, is, Are BLM Leaders Calling on the Spirits of the Dead? And this is what he said over here. He said that this is found in their own video, the BLM leader's video. He says that they mentioned the names of the people first, which included George Floyd, obviously, Andrew Joseph, I say, Mike, uh, let's see, uh, Harriet Tubman, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, etc., etc. Yeah. But then they repeated a word with after everyone. It's I say, I say. Why is that? Doctor, as each quote, as each name is recited, Dr. Abdullah poured libations on the ground as a group of over 100 chanted Ase, a Yoruba term often used by practitioners of Ifa, a faith and divination system that originated in West Africa. Wow. In return, this ritual, Dr. Abdullah explained, is a form of Worship. What did your pastor tell you about those BLM riots? It's like turning now more into not political, but a religious form. A religious worship form where now they're chopping off heads of statue and, and taking a doll that looks like Trump and putting him in a guillotine and people taking a knee for that. This is religious. That's Antichrist. That's so familiar with Antichrist religion at Revelation 20. Witchcraft, man. Now, I wonder who, I wonder if someone up there will take it very calmly. Well, we got the California wildfires, right? Title of the article by CNBC, published September 12, 2020. At least 33 dead as wildfires scorch millions of acres across western U.S. They also say this, it is apocalyptic. Oh, isn't that interesting? California, Oregon, and Washington State is being affected by this. Apocalyptic? Is Revelation about to open up? Revelation is known as the wrath of God, right? Well, let me read over here what they call this California wildfire. San Francisco Chronicle had a title, Basically Hell, How the Fast-Moving North Complex. Uh, New York Post, Ferocious Wildfires Turning West Coast into Hell on earth. LA Times, fires of hell, how dry lightning has sparked. Uh, New York Times, 2020 can go to hell, the story behind the viral fire. This is by The Guardian, good morning hell, Californians awake to apocalyptic. Here's another one. LA Times, uh, California cross tipping point into climate change hell. This is another one by SF Gate. Uh, there's a lot more, a lot more. But you see over there that everyone, all the news media, the law sinners are, are, are just preaching the gospel to you for some weird reason and saying, this is, this is hell, this is hell. Because remember that weird glow we had in our Bay Area? That orange glow that looked like hell? Like somebody was angry or something like that. That's all I'll say, that's all I'll say. But then now... It's getting affected where Hurricane Sally is now reaching historic flooding points, actually. Title of the article by Market Watch, uh, published September 15, 2020. Hurricane Sally slows off Gulf Coast, threatens historic flooding over there. Well, uh, all this thing just coincidentally happened, right? All of this just coincidentally happened. And then, do you think then that the Lord's about to get ready to, for the Antichrist to set up something over here? Remember this historic deal of peace with the Arab nations and Israel? 
And then that Antichrist, go to 2 Thessalonians 2. The Antichrist, what does he have to do? He has to come down and have access to the temple in Jerusalem. He has to have access to that so that he can set up his one world uh, religion, his new world order. I'm not saying that the deal that Trump did with the Arab nations is the Antichrist peace treaty, but it is a stepping stone because all you need is more Arab nations involved, and then you get the Catholic Church system involved, and then you get the temple set up, then we're getting there. Because this is a huge stepping stone. This is a huge pivot, historic point, to lead to the Antichrist treaty. You know why? Because more will get involved. Title of the article, By the Times of Israel... September 15, 2020, after UAE, Bahrain deals signed, Trump says seven to nine countries seek peace with Israel. Wow. This is getting there. And I heard that India is one of them getting involved too. So more, this is getting big. Yes. This is becoming one world over here. And what's going to happen after that? Could it be the rapture? Well, a lot of people talk about Feast of Trumpets being the rapture, right? Mm -hmm. Title of the article by the Times of Israel, date is September 13th. Israel to enter three-week lockdown from Friday, schools, malls, hotels to be closed. It reads over here, starting from Rosh Hashanah Eve, yes. Israelis to be barred from traveling 500 meters from home. Netanyahu denies closure and soaring cases show his policies have failed, etc. So... What are they getting locked down for? And some Christians are saying that it's like when Jesus Christ uh, or God himself came down to visit Israel in his coming. They, were, they locked their doors during Passover as God was passing over the land. Maybe he's coming. Maybe he's coming. I just don't know. I just... <laughs> Do you, think the, uh, do you think the Muslim nations are going to take that quiet? Title of the article by New York Post, and this was today. Israeli army strikes Gaza in response to rocket attacks after peace deal. This is getting there. The Bible says Revelation 6, peace, and then what happens after that? War. Nations getting involved in war. All right, so pastor, I get the Antichrist over here. What in the world is this then, pastor? What in the world is this then, Pastor? Why? The aliens are coming. This could also mean the aliens are coming. You say, no. Okay, well, go to Revelation. Uh, we're not going to go to 2 Thessalonians 2. We're going to go to Revelation chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5. You know that the Bible shows a possibility here that when the Antichrist comes down, that, like Dr. Upman would mention in his Adler commentary, on a flying saucer, flies over the Vatican, St. Peter's Square, and then he'll just land, he'll just land in front of the Vatican and say, Peace be unto you. I am come back to bring peace on the earth. Well, will the Antichrist come out of above, all of a sudden above, out of nowhere, and land on the earth? Is that really true? Yeah, look at this. The Bible says, Revelation chapter uh, 5, and I saw on the right of hand of him that sat on the throne. That's heaven's throne, up there, above. A book written which within on the backside, sealed with what? Seven seals. Okay, but God's going to open these seals from above. Now look at chapter 6, verse 1. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, right from above, what comes out. And I heard as it were the noise of thunder. See from above. One of the four beasts saying, come and see, and I, saw, and I saw, and behold, a what? There's the Antichrist. A white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Out of nowhere. Is that what's going on? By Reuters, September 15th. Title of the article, Potential Sign of Alien Life Detected on in Inhospitable Venus inhospitable these might these people might be a danger maybe these people might be a danger is there I mean Venus is supposed to be next to Earth according to the scientists right I mean if it's that close remember the 
Pentagon released those UFO videos that I showed you a long time ago. You know what they said? Fox News, September 14, 2020. Title of the article, Fighter Pilot Says UFO He Chased in 2004 Committed Act of War. What? Fox News, man. You can read it. Look at that. So then... If, if the military is thinking that this is an act of war on what's going on, and then they're getting ready for it, and then the Jews are locking themselves down over here because something's coming, and then they got this peace thing that's building up to a bigger peace, and then all this chaos while America is tearing itself in half by witches and by people who have a communist socialist agenda, sorry to say, and then... Here he comes. He's like thinking, this is the perfect time to come as a savior. They need a savior at this time. Somebody who will solve this issue. Get it. 